Hey YouTube, it's me, it's your iPhone Captain. Today we're going to be doing something a little bit different, but I think you're really going to enjoy this. I'm going to show you how to connect your iPhone, iPad, or iPod to your PlayStation 3 controller. I know most of you out there have the PlayStation 3 controller handy. If you don't, you can get one here at the link that I've shared in this post. If you want to get the one I'm using right here, you can get it for about 35 bucks on Amazon. But if you go to Walmart like I did, you're going to pay $54 and something. So keep that in mind. Use the link and save that 20 bucks. I was just pressed and needed it. But the first time you connect is going to be the only difficulty you may have. You have to connect both the controller and the iPhone or iOS device to the computer at the same time. Okay. You're going to download an application called Controllers for All. Alright, this is going to cost you $1.99, but it'll be the best two bucks you ever spent. It supports all iOS 7 devices. So once you get that installed on your iDevice, you want to connect your com to the computer. You're going to open up a uh, software on here called Six Pair and I'm running six pair for the Mac so let's go ahead and open it and you'll see whenever it comes up that it's a very simple thing on the on the uh, screen alright guys you'll see here that uh, we've got the device connected and you'll see this little box pop up on the screen too it just says uh, Mitch's iPhone 5 7.04 PlayStation 3 and now it says controller paired to iPhone enjoy that's all you have to do on the computer you only have to do that one time alright guys let's take a look at some Angry Birds Go gameplay and let you see how it looks here and handles as you can see the controller is very responsive there's not that much lag in it at all and I'm not going to show a lot of gameplay here. We're going to go into some gameplay on uh, Dead Trigger 2. Probably a lot of you action gamers out there will enjoy this. You can see that the left, right, up, and down. And you can interchange your weapons without any problems. And you can actually uh, go on through those without touching the screen if you know which button to push. I just haven't played enough to figure that out yet but you don't have to touch the screen uh, you might have to like in between games or something like that but during gameplay there's nothing to worry about I found that the, there weren't a whole lot of things you couldn't do right on the controller that you could do on the touch screen anyway so guys I hope you enjoyed this I tried to show you something maybe that you can enjoy and if you're not a subscriber we'd like to invite you to subscribe here we try to uh, have a lot of fun and do things that uh, you enjoy. Please, as always, share this on Facebook and Twitter and keep coming back.